of you are probably a wee bit confused by the title. To be honest, so am I. Um, we have a lot to unpack in this video. I do need to sit down and have a big DMT with you because I have a lot has been going on in my life at the minute and I don't think you would even know. Like, I haven't done a full one day, baby. And I just need to let it all out and I need to completely vent to you. So that's what you're going to have to endure for the next 10 minutes. But before we get into that, I wanted to say a massive thank you to Karma for sponsoring this video, but we'll get more into that later. Where do we begin? Let me take you back to like the start of the year, like February kind of vibes, whenever I bought my house in Belfast. So I have always wanted to buy a house. Like it's a great way to invest your money because I don't understand what a stock is. The easiest way for me to invest my money was in a house, in property. But at the time I was not doing mentally very well. I just wanted to go home to my family. Like I wanted some security. I wasn't having a great time in London. I kind of associated London with not doing mentally well do you know what I mean so I had it in my head that I hated London for some reason so I was really excited because first of all I bought the house and then second of all I really wanted to live in it so I'd like fully planned to move in to my house on like the first of August I think was my proper move-in date so obviously I went home I got it all furnished it was all sitting waiting ready for me everything was good and then London kind of came out of its kind of lockdown phase and I made a lot of friends I started like getting work opportunities here like fun events and stuff that I could only do in London started really really enjoying London and then I kind of shit myself a wee bit. I just had a, such a big identity crisis because I was sort of deeping what my life would be if I did move home. The good thing about London is everyone here that I'm friends with kind of does the same like creative job as me. Like a lot of us aren't in nine to five jobs. Whereas anyone that I'm friends with in Belfast has nine to five jobs. They have uni. Like they're not like free all day like my friends here. Not that we're free all day. But you know like sometimes on a Wednesday I've got no work to do. Like I'll go out for, for like a wee shopping day with my friends. It's not quite like that in Belfast. And then also my siblings are moving to uni next year. Some of my friends I thought were going to stay in Belfast are moving to uni. I will literally be sitting in that house on my own every day until people are free at about 6 p.m. And then I started having loads of fun in London and I was like, I that's not gonna satisfy me. Like I just knew that whenever I went home, I just want to be in London the entire time. I had a few breakdowns because like I I'd fully like this is the thing, I need to stop oversharing so much. But you know what? We're on this journey together. But um I was like, fuck, everyone's gonna be like, why the fuck did you buy the house? And I don't regret buying the house at all because I always wanted to buy a house because it's a great investment and now I'm gonna rent it out and it's gonna I'm gonna be a landlord, I'm a girl boss. So as I said earlier, this video is highly sponsored by Karma, previously known as Shop Tiger, if you've ever heard of that. I don't know the Karma when it was Shop Tiger like years ago and I literally love it. It's just an app or a Chrome extension that uses tech to make sure that you don't ever miss out on any sales, any coupon codes are relevant. So I've been using it quite a lot because obviously I've just moved into this flat. It is unfurnished. I needed to buy stuff like home decor and furniture and I have been using Karma to find deals and discount codes. I just downloaded the Chrome extension and it just kind of sits on your laptop. It doesn't really do anything until you're like going to check out of somewhere and it finds any coupon codes that could save you money and it applies them automatically. It's amazing. This coupon feature is only available on computers, so the Chrome extension is a must. Another really cool thing you can do is if you're on a website and maybe Karma doesn't have a coupon code for it yet, you just save the item on Karma and then they notify you if they ever get a coupon code, if the item ever goes on sale or if there's any price drops. So on my saved at the minute, I've got a few like decor bits that I've got my eye on. I've also got some like clothes and shoes and stuff, but you can like sort out your saved lists into different categories to make it easier for you. And you can now earn Karma cash straight to your PayPal account when shopping with select retail partners. But yeah, I'm literally obsessed with it. Like why wouldn't you get it? It's free and it saves you money. It's a win-win. I will leave a link to Karma down below in my description. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you download the Chrome extension. Thank you so much to Karma for sponsoring this video. But yeah, I just kind of started panicking because I was like, people think I'm moving to Belfast and if I don't, then everyone's gonna hate me and I didn't know what to do and my brain was scrambled and I genuinely couldn't have a thought for like three weeks like my I turned my emotions off like in Vampire Diaries I didn't speak to anyone I didn't speak to my family I just like no thoughts head empty because I couldn't like decide what to do with my life but anyway I then kind of talked to my parents I was like listen this is what I'm feeling at the minute and they were like this house will always be here you're not always gonna have a great life in London like when you're young and you're having so much fun why not just stay in London if you can and then in a few years time you can come back to this house and live there when you if you want to so yeah anyway after that conversation I was like this is the right thing for me to do at the minute this is like this is what will make me happiest I'm just not prepared to live that lifestyle just yet at the ripe age of 19 you know, maybe when I'm 21, I'll be like, you know what, fuck it, I'm moving to Belfast and getting a sausage dog and I'm gonna be a housewife. But 
right now I am 19 and I'm having a great time in London so why not just stay here if I can. So then I went on to Right Move, started having a look at some flats and literally the first time I went to Right Move I found my, my dream apartment. Very very lucky, went to see it the next day, put an offer in the next day and got it that day. From the conversation with my parents to getting my flat I think there was about a 24 hour period. I am a very very impulsive and indecisive person if you can tell. I'm a Libra. Leanne, what's your what's your sign, Leanne? I'm a Libra. So <gasps> I love Libra! So then I got my flat in London, and this is where we are now. I want to give you a tour of my apartment. However, I got my apartment the day I went to Croatia, and it was all so rushed because I had to move out of my flat that I was living in with Flossie. I had to move all my stuff out before I went away on holiday. Literally, like, moved all my stuff, like, in boxes, and then left to go to Croatia. So I came back, and, like, it was a tip. I think I've been home for, like, three days, and I'm... I've actually done bits for three days. Like, I've got quite a lot of furniture in. The only thing that I'm waiting for now is my sofa. Like, it does look a wee bit empty, so you're gonna have to bear with me. And, like, try envision my vision, if you know what I mean. So what I was, like, looking for in this flat was... I just wanted a different area. Where I was living before, it was very industrial. Like, so, like, skyscrapers, like, amazing towers of flats. Towers, I can't say it. Towers. And they're all brand spanking new, 24 hour concierge. And it's great for that. However, I didn't love how whenever you left, the buildings it was just like there wasn't that many nice things around it it's not as if like you walked on the road and there's like loads of nice wee cafes where everyone's sitting out but then yeah i just wanted like a big big change there was this area in london that i visited a few times like since i've been living here and i loved it so much and it just felt like more belfast not that it's like belfast at all but it's like lots of nice cafes and everyone's sitting outside and it's like the cafe that i go to i feel like i can achieve them knowing my order that is my main goal like there's a starbucks beside my school in belfast and every morning I'd go in and the barista would be like, Olivia, same as always. And I'd be like, yes, sir. I, just, I still follow my barista on Instagram. That's what I'm going for in this area that I'm living in. <laughs> Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Who is this? I'm good. I think that was a randomer. That's really embarrassing. I feel like that was someone I knew and they were giggling. That was not someone I knew. I always just answer my phone to unknown numbers. I don't know why the fuck I do that because my number has been leaked it's far too many times. But yeah, living in this new area, I'm fucking so obsessed with it. There was no need to say the F word there, sorry. Um, but I just love it so much. I'm really, really, really happy. But I know you're all really like, please, can I see this apartment? And yes, you can. So it's not like a new build or anything. I wanted kind of, I'm going for like Parisian vibes. Sorry, it's not Parisian at all, but I just, I don't know. I just wanted like nice, bright, open and airy. Like I think your environment really, really affects your mental health, to be honest. Like I think if you have a really nice, bright environment, you feel 10 times better. I was also looking for a balcony as well because I didn't have a balcony in my last flat. My last flat was absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't fault it, but um, it w it is really, really nice to have an outdoor space. Should we just get into the flat tour? I think we should. I think you're all probably bored of me speaking so much. I literally ramble so much. I have no idea what I just said in the past like 10 minutes. Okay, so this is the front door. This is where we're also at with the nails, getting them fixed tomorrow. You're just gonna have to ignore them. So this is the front door. You walk in, this is your view. We've got cute tiles. Whenever I first walked in, I was like, oh, are they a bit grimy and dirty? But apparently that's them clean. It's just because they're, it's like an old house. That's what they're like. So to your right, I've got some storage, which is always great for London flats. This is a big shoe cupboard that came with the flat. Nice washer and dryer that came with the flat. You walk in here and this is the guest bathroom bathroom i put my plaque there because i saw flossy put her plaque in her bathroom so that when everyone's peeing they can just admire it <laughs> i also feel like it kind of goes with the bathroom a wee bit i've got a plant that elise actually gave me for my housewarming present in belfast but my mum basically sent me over a huge crate of all my stuff in belfast because i'm gonna rent out my house i think but like will be furnished obviously all my furniture is in there but like decorations and stuff the people that rent it won't want my like cushions and blankets so my mum sent over a big crate of all my cushions and blankets and like plants and stuff and then this is the sink i've got my laundry basket there what is this? I've never seen this before. Oh, another wee storage cupboard, cute. And then you walk around here and you have these big double doors. Haven't figured out how to open this door yet, otherwise I would so open it for you, but I just can't figure it out. So you come down here, take a wee step down. There's my toes. 
And this is the living room kitchen. So as you can see, it looks a bit empty because I'm still waiting for the sofa to come because if you've ever tried to order a sofa, you will know they are impossible to get. Like why do they make them so hard to get? The quickest one I could get was like three week delivery. So it should be here next week. I got this like big L sofa and then I got two armchairs coming here. You know what? I'm just gonna put in photos of the sofa and the armchair so you can see the vision and you'll also see it in my next vlogs. I What I love about this flat as well is like look at the ceilings. Isn't that so pretty and it's really tall, nice high ceilings. My mum sent me over my coffee table and she also sent me over my island chairs because I literally am obsessed with them. They're from by Cray. I think you, you will have seen them in my Belfast house tour but I was like I actually need them so she, she sent me them over and then she's just going to get replacement ones for my Belfast home. Also have my nice pond mirror hung up on the wall. I love it so much. Uh, I got a wee basket here with some blankets. Brought this from my flat in London. Just put my TV up there for now. I think it's gonna stay there. I got this wee Dior book on Amazon. This is from Amazon, that's from Zara Home. The sofa's gonna go like around this. I'm thinking maybe of getting a wee rug as well. I got this big lamp that's actually not gonna go there. It's gonna go over there because the two armchairs that I'm getting, there and there. I just think the big tall lamp over it would be really cute. And this mirror is from my home in Belfast. I've had this mirror for like fucking like five years probably. Just from Ikea. There is a family that live below me and the children are screaming right now. So if you hear that, I, ha I have not had a secret child, but you know what? It wouldn't even be surprising this rate if I came to you and was like, I also had a child because I'm full of surprises, aren't I? This is like literally what sold me on the whole place. Like that is like Paris vibes, isn't it? That is just, oh my God, it just makes me so happy. There's so much nice and natural light. I'm literally obsessed with it. And like all the greenery. <gasps> oh my God, it's so cute. I love it. And also that's what the double doors look like from, from this angle. And then you come around here and we've got the kitchen. Now, I know what you're thinking. A yellow oven. I too was like, what the fuck, whenever I first walked in. It just, it took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting a yellow oven. The more I've lived here, the more I've got used to it. It's actually not as bad in person. It is a bit of an odd choice from the landlord, but you know what, each to their own. I'm not gonna complain. I think it adds a bit of character. It sets off the orange and banana sitting there. I can't do anything about it either because it's like, obviously I didn't buy this flat, so I can't change the oven, but you know, I, I, I don't mind it. And it's also from Smeg, and Smeg's a really great brand. This is another thing that sold me. Oh my God, wait till you see this. The fridge freezer. <gasps> I'm obsessed with it. I love Smeg fridges. I've always wanted one. I've only got ice and mints in there, vegan mints of. The fridge bit, what have we got? We got hummus, olives, butter from my friends come over for breakfast, tofu, heck sausages, chicken tikka, strawberries, beans. Oh my God, sorry, the bread. Let me give you a quick backstory on this. If anyone here watches Anastasia Kings North, she went to the flat to her and in it, you could see inside her fridge and she kept a loaf of bread in it. And you know what? I was with the masses whenever I first watched it. I was like, Anna babes, what the fuck is that? I've never seen bread kept in the fridge before. And she came back and she was like, I live on my own. I can't finish a full loaf of bread before it goes bloom all day. And then I was thinking what? And I was like, I'm in the exact same boat. Like, I don't think I ever finish a loaf of bread before it goes moldy. And it's such a waste because I just throw away like five pieces of perfectly good bread. So I tried it out and it genuinely works. So like, okay, well, let me preface something as well. I only eat toast. I don't like bread just on its own. I think if you were making a sandwich with it, with the cold bread, that'd be fucking disgusting. Like if you literally just get bread for like avocado toast or just normal toast, you should try putting it in the fridge if you find that you can never finish a full loaf before it goes off. Thank you, Anastasia Kings North, for that one. I brought my beloved coffee machine for my flat in London. I brought it with me. I also kept the same kettle and toaster as well. And I see microwave that comes with it. This is just like storage. I mean, there is a lot of kitchen storage and I have nothing to store in it. Comes with a wine fridge, love that. What have I got in here? I've got... Aperol and some champagne. This one is actually from the people that sold me my house in Belfast. Awkward. Like it's the way they've written congrats on your new home and I just literally like, I didn't even live there. God, I hope they don't take offense. It's like, it's a beautiful house. It's just, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I don't think they'll care. Would they care? I've got some daily flame candles, my fave. Got a wee Chanel book that I got on Amazon. I think this is from Zara. And my mum got me a Sono speaker, which I was so happy about. I'm literally obsessed with Sono speakers. We've got one in my family home and it's literally the best speaker. I don't know if it's Alexa. Alexa? What time is it? No, nope, it's not Alexa. Also, a fun thing is it's got a mirror up there. Look, can you see me? Isn't that fun? Ugh. Do you want to see something else that's really, really, really cool? In here, look how cool this is. 
Isn't that so fun? And then in this cupboard, I have devoted to my empty bottle of Peronese, but it says Olivia's vegan Peronese on it. How cool is that? Nando sent me it. Thanks, Nando's. I think that's pretty much the kitchen done. But yeah, so this is like a quick overview of what the whole area looks like. Let me just like show you how tall the ceilings are. It's not mad. It's a madness. So next up we have the balcony. So you can get to it from two ways. There's a wee door there. And then there's also a door there from the kitchen. I have got a cardboard box out here because my friend was over and we had nothing to sit on because my garden furniture isn't arriving until Friday, I think. Put up some fairy lights here, which are really cute at night. It will look a lot better when I've got my outdoor furniture. I've got like a wee sofa going there. And then I'm gonna get a wee pink table and chairs here to drink my coffee and watch the view there is a family living below me hence the hence the swing set but um apparently they're actually moving out very soon so the swing set will hopefully be gone not that there's anything bad it's just kind of ruining my aesthetic i don't i don't know how i feel about children i mean i want i, I think i want to be pregnant but only because ellie darby was pregnant but i don't want like a toddler toddlers suck no hit to toddlers like you do you, but you kind of suck a wee bit. Okay, so now we're coming through the double doors and we've got my bathroom. This is the bathroom, lovely big shower. I only figured out how to get hot water today. Got some new towels, nice and fluffy. I really can't get over the nail situation. I just love this sink. I think it's really, really cute. This whole flat is like, it kind of looks old, but it's like, it's, this is like a brand new sink, do you know what I mean? But it just like, it kind of, it's got old vibes. All this opens up. I've kept all my stuff in there. I am going a wee bit red from the stress of like me trying to put into words how I'm feeling about my life right now. I am so excited and I'm so happy at the minute, but it was a full 180. Like it was a big change in a very short space of time and I'm still trying to like process it. We've got another big storage thing here for all my towels, even though I have two towels and they're sat right there. And then from the bathroom, you can come out here and there's even more storage. There's storage up there. Oh God, there's storage everywhere. Oh my God, I didn't realize there was a clothing rail up there. I'm gonna hang my coats there. And there's a wee mirror on the door. That's fun. So then you come out the bathroom, you got your storage there and then finally, you come into my bedroom. Welcome to my pet. No, you just need to bear with me. Pretend they're not there. That's all my clothes I'm yet to unpack because my wardrobe still hasn't arrived. But this is my room. Cute, love it. So let's start with the bed. I got this bed from Habitat. I have always wanted a four poster bed, but never quite had the vibe of a room that would go with it. Like, I feel like it only really goes with a wooden floor and all my bedrooms in the past have been carpeted. So I just thought this is a perfect, this is a perfect reason to get a four poster bed. And I found this four poster bed that was actually quite reasonable for a four poster bed. It's from Habitat. I've taken all my pillows from my house in Belfast and I got my two teddies. I got this one in Croatia and I also got this one on the plane to Croatia. I don't know, like growing up I was not a teddy gal whatsoever and then all of a sudden now I just want to throw myself at teddies. Maybe it's like a way of me trying to be like, please stop growing up so fast, Olivia. I remember you're only 19. And so my coping mechanism is just buying teddies. Uh, and then I brought my big mirror from my flat, uh, my previous flat in London. It's the Hovit mirror from Ikea. I always get questions on it. It's the one that's 90 pounds, but it's literally like the biggest mirror ever. It's so good. My wardrobe is probably gonna go there and all the clothes will go into that and all this shit will go into it, but it's not arrived yet. This is my chest of drawers. I'm gonna like try to show you without showing you exactly where I live, but this is my little makeup desk. I have got a mirror from Urban Outfitters coming. It's just like a wee standalone one. Like I like it because I can people watch. I love people watching. And then this chair is from John Lewis. It's like a wee foldable chair. I think it's really, really cute. Round here, we've got another basket and and a wee plant that I brought from my other flat. This room is pretty much done apart from the wardrobe that needs to go in so I can unpack. I'm currently still living out of my suitcase from Croatia, which is a wee bit gross. I mean, I've washed my pants, but apart from that, yeah, I'm pretty much still living out of it. I've got my two dressing gowns hanging up on the back of my door. I've got my winter fluffy one from M&S and I've got my thin summer one from Tesco. Oh yeah, I also still need to get bedside tables because I haven't got bedside tables. Also, do you think my bed would look better on that wall or do you think stay on that wall? I don't know. Also, I know I'm gonna get home and be like, you're not meant to put your mirror on opposite your bed. I don't really think anything's gonna happen. I mean, if a demon comes and gets me, that's completely on me. You know, I've been warned. I am so, so happy. It's just, it's like my dream apartment. I say that about everywhere I move into, that it's my dream, but it's just so, such good vibes. I love the ceilings. Like that detailing is just so beautiful. The four poster bed, ah! Oh! Everything, everything. I'm just, I'm so happy right now. And I know 
uh, some of you are probably just still gonna be like, Olivia, what the fuck is going on? And me too. But let's just go on this journey together. I will keep you more updated in the future. I feel like I was a wee bit absent with what was going on because I need to stop like jumping into things and telling you stuff before anything's confirmed. So like I was gonna tell you, I was thinking of moving, but then I was like, you know what, in a week's time, like God knows what, where I'll be or like what country I'll be living in. So I just wanted to wait until I was fully moved in um, before I showed you what was going on. I really love you all and I'm so excited to make loads and loads of videos and spam you all my new flat. I just feel like it's a bit more me. Do you know what I mean? This is a bit more wholesome vibes. Am I wholesome? I don't know. I'm a bit all over the place. I don't think I'm wholesome. That was just a bit, that was a sweeping statement actually. Okay, I love you so much. What should we name this teddy? Because this one's called Gibby and I haven't named this one yet. Oh, and make sure you go check out Karma. The link is in my description.